Hey guys, it's November 4th, 2023, and now we want to go through the stocks that started moving up this week. But we're not just talking about any stocks. We're talking about the stocks on my watch list that are stocks that have been analyzed and they were found to be fundamentally sound. And if you want the analysis for any of these stocks, please just drop me a comment telling me which stock you'd like the analysis on. And I will do the analysis on video and put it inside of the channel. But there is a price for that. I need you to, one, leave the comment with the stock name or ticker symbol and a like. And it would be wise if you subscribe so that when I drop that stock in there, you'll be able to know that the analysis is there. Now, having said that, I break my watch list down into three grades. First, we have stocks that I analyze, and they don't even meet the criteria for being on my watch list. But for those that do meet the criteria, they're either rated as a three-star, which is the top rated, a two-star, which is a little below the top. Maybe there's something wrong. Maybe the balance sheet is not that great or something, but pretty much it's okay. And there's one star. If you ever see me put a no star in there, it's because maybe the name of that company makes me a little emotional, so I wanted to include it in the list. But three stars, the top rated, one star is the bottom rated, but it, the fundamentals are enough for it to make my watch list. So having said that, Genpax Limited, they are a three star, which would be my top rated. And in this last week, they started moving up. I wouldn't jump in to buy it just yet. I would be looking to see if it moves up going into Monday and going into this next week. But Gen Pack Limited looks like a possibility. And they're coming off their 52 week low. Waters Corporation. Now they are a one star, but it's the same thing. This one week, this last, this past week, they started to move up like nicely. We want to see if coming into this next week, they break above that and start to take off. And that will be an opportunity to jump in. Weiss Markets. Now, with Weiss Markets, I actually put out a video around four days ago speaking about what things were happening with the market. And I put, pointed out Weiss Markets in that watch list. And at that time, it was $65.38. That was just around three days prior. And now here it is at $67.61. So it moved up this week. We want to look into this next week and see if it continues to move up. And like I said, drop me a comment asking for the analysis, and I'll put the analysis on video and drop that for you guys. Dollar General. They are moving. They only moved up slightly. This last week, but they are moving up for their fourth week. I mentioned them in the video a few days ago as well. They were at a hundred and nineteen dollars and fifty cents a share. Now they're at a hundred and twenty dollars and forty two cents a share. 
Hibbert Incorporated. Another one star. They moved up nicely this week. Um, I believe Hibbert sells like sports gear, sort of more like a Models. Sensian Technologies, they are a three star. They have been moving almost in sideways pattern, but sort of vertical. And like three weeks back, it was um, a green candle. They moved up. Then the last week, they moved slightly down. And then this week, they moved up again. So we want to see if they continue to go up. And Sentient, if I remember them correctly, their business is a sort of strange one. They make colors and fragrances. So, for example, people who sell makeup, companies that sell makeup, they need colors for their makeup. Well, Sentient makes that. And let's say some businesses maybe candy companies they sell certain types of flavors for their candy maybe it's a strawberry or a cherry or whatever these artificial flavors sensian makes that key site technologies another three star but we only see one green candle so far we want to see if they move up a little bit further. We want to see what they do coming into this next week. Next Star Media. Next Star Media, we only see one green candle, but they seem to have moved up significantly this week. And Next Star Media... They're actually what they say they are. They're a media company. They have a lot of television stations or channels, whatever you may want to call them, are under them. And they moved up nicely this week. Kraft Heinz Corporation or the Kraft Heinz Company. You may have Kraft Heinz in your refrigerator. They sell ketchup. They, the, the, your ketchup may be from Kraft Times. They have a bunch of other things. In any event, they're one star, but they moved up nicely this week. They moved back as well, probably on Friday. But they moved up nicely this week. L3 Harris Technology. They moved up nicely this week. But their moving up broke beyond the um, sideways pattern. What we want to do is take a look and see what they're doing going into Monday. Okay. So when I announced this stock also in the last video I dropped, which was a it, well, in a previous video I dropped, which was around four days ago, three days prior to this. And at that time, their share was $178.98 a share. Now they're up to $186.44 a share. So they moved up nicely this week. We want to see what they do going into next week. English markets seem, I believe, is supermarkets, and there are a two star. English markets was moving in a sideways pattern, and then this week they broke out of that sideways pattern. We want to see if they continue to move up going into this next week, and if so, that may be an opportunity to jump in. Norfolk Southern Corporation. 
and they are a railroad. They are a three-star. They moved up nicely this week, but we see some previous candles still above them. We want to see if they continue to move up. And if they break out of that little sideways pattern. Agilent Technologies. And Agilent Technologies is also moving sideways, but their move up was decent this week. So we want to see what they do going into the next week. A lot of these stocks we're waiting on to see what they do going further. October, even September, was sort of rough months. You have a lot of companies that are fundamentally sound, and they're at their 52-week low now. We want to see if November is better for the markets and some of these companies start to move up. Prosperity Bank shares, they are a two-star. And in all of the previous companies, I, want, I was saying that they moved up nicely this week. We want to see if they move up the next week. Well, Prosperity Bank shares, we see that they moved up nicely last week. And then here they are. A nice move up this week as well. So they broke out of that little resistance area where we felt could have been um, sideways action. They're moving up. When we analyzed them and dropped them in our previous video, they were $54.13. That was around three days prior to this video. And now they're at $58.39. Paycom Software. Wow. What a story. Paycom Software hasn't started moving up yet. But Paycom Software is a fundamentally sound company. You see, I gave them a three-star rating. They were already on my watch list. And then as I'm waking up Wednesday morning and watching some TV, I think I had the financial news on, and I'm looking at the tickers and I'm seeing Paycom dropped around $90 a share. I was amazed. The first thing I did was went to Google. I did a search to find out why they dropped. And the next thing I did was bought a few shares because they're a solid company to me that will be moving up. Now, as to why they dropped, I have two videos on my channel. One is a five-year stock analysis on Paycom. It gives their, their um, financials for the last five years. The other one is called, Why Did Paycom Fall? Because at the time, I didn't have the time to put a um, video together. I wasn't going to be home. So I just created a silent video giving a brief explanation as to why Paycom fell. And then later on, I believe it was that next morning I had the time, then I created the video with the analysis on Paycom. RCI, Hospitality Holdings. They are a three-star. Um, they, they've been in positive territory for the last three weeks, but they really started to move up just a little this last week. We want to see what they do going forward. 
And if you wonder why I smile when I say RCI Hospitality, it's because they are a unique business. They own, manage a number of strip clubs. Cullen Frost Bankers. And we see they're in their second positive week. They were moving sideways a little for maybe around five weeks. And this week they started to break out of that. So we want to see if coming into this next work week, they continue to move up. Theogen, I'm not, never sure if I'm pronouncing this right. They are a three-star, and they moved up significantly this week. So you, you want to be on the lookout for whether they continue to move up going into Monday. Camden National Corporation. And notice, Camden National, they're not an expensive stock. They're actually a pretty cheap stock. I mentioned them in my previous video, which was three days prior to this one. They were at $29.20 a share at that time. Since then, they've moved up to $32.24 a share. And if you see that candlestick for this week, it's a sizable one. So, if they should continue to move up going into this week, this may be a stock you'd want to jump into. Discover Financial Services. And maybe some of you guys have a Discover credit card. Well, that's good. Discover Financial Services. They are one star. They moved up pretty decent candle this week. So we want to see what they do going into next week. Genuine Parts Company, and I believe it's auto parts that they do. They um had a significant drop a couple of weeks back. But this last week they were moving up and we want to see if they continue to move up going into the next week. Now, I just want to mention, we buy these stocks, we feel they're going to move up. But if you're buying a stock and you feel you buy it because you feel it's going to move up, and it doesn't move up or it starts to move down, you don't want to hold on to it and take significant losses. After a few days to a week, if it's still going down, get out of it and grab another opportunity. Um, in this video, I'm going through about 40 opportunities that you can jump on. So there'll always be other opportunities to grab. Don't buy something to lose money. UPS, United Parcel Service, they are a two-star. They moved up this week. They're another one that was mentioned in our video a few days ago. They were at $140.10 a share then. They're at $142.91 a share now. Zebra Technologies. They're a three-star. The last two weeks were positive, but they were only slight move-ups. Nothing to jump on yet. We want to wait a little while and see what it continues to do. But if it starts, if we see it starting to move up, Zebra Technologies is a fundamentally sound company that we would like to have in our portfolios. Kelanova. Kelanova moved up 
They were moving sideways for about three weeks. They moved up this last week. Now, for those unfamiliar with the name Kelanova, Kelanova is Kellogg. And for those unfamiliar with the name Kellogg, Kellogg made cornflakes and a number of other things. They made breakfast cereals, they make other snacks and so forth. They even make some healthy foods. However, Kellogg's cereals were starting to fall behind. They weren't making as much money. And their health foods were not taking off. But the one thing that was doing real well at Kellogg was the snack division. So they broke it up into three separate companies. They will probably sell off the cereal division, which is not performing as well, and the health food division, which is not performing as well. And the division that's performing as well is Kelanova. Do I should say the division that's performing well is Kelanova. So that's what you're seeing here. I don't really have fundamentals for Kelanova or analysis because they're a new company. But I do have the fundamentals or the analysis for Kellogg just before they split up. And if you want me to give you the analysis on Kellogg, I can create a video and post that for you guys on the channel. Just let me know in the comments and please drop a like. Darling Ingredients, and they're a two-star, and they've moved up for their second straight week. Let's see what they do going into this week. They were mentioned previously as well. They were 44.82 when I mentioned them on the previous video, and now they're 45.39 this year. McCormick Company. You guys may have one of their products in your in your house. They make black pepper. Black pepper that many people buy and use at home is made by McCormick. They make other things as well. Well, they're up for their second week. Quest Diagnostics. Quest Diagnostics is they broke up out of that sideways pattern. They moved up significantly last week, but moved back a little on Friday. Well, moved back almost half on Friday. Then this week they moved up and moved up nicely. We mentioned them on the previous video when they were at $130.39 a share. Now they're at $134.28 a share. Idacorp. Idacorp, they were in a sideways pattern. They're somewhat broken out of the sideways pattern, but all in the same week. We want to see what they do going into this week. American Waterworks, they're a one star, and wow, did they move up this week. So we want to see what they do going into the next week. They're at $130.44 a share. General Motors, well, in the beginning, I warned that there may be a company or two that, for sentimental reasons, I may throw in there. They're at their fund. They're at their 52-week low. 
but they weren't as fundamentally sound to meet all of my criteria. They're not a three star, not a two star, not a one star, but I throw them in there. Well, General Motors is one of them. However, they're $29.92 a share, and they are, there was a strike that was going on in the auto industry. Well, that strike is over, so we want to see what happens as a result of that. And they just had a green candle this last week. We want to see what they do going into the next week. Pepsi code. They make Pepsi and a bunch of other things. And if you look for my channel, I actually have the video analysis for Pepsi on there already. Um, so in any event, Pepsi makes a number of stack things and so forth. And um, they're moving up. Um, they moved up this last week. We want to see what they do going into the next week. Middleby Corporation. Same thing, three star. We see that they moved up this last week. We want to see what they do going into the next week. Value line. Moving up for the third week in a row. Value Line is actually, they do publishing. They purchase a periodical or reading material that speaks about investing and stocks. I'm give, I do, if you look at any of my videos analyzing stocks, I analyze the financials over a five-year period. Value Line does that as well, but they go deeper. They dive into the actual news with the company, lets you know what's going on, what things they have done already, and what things they have coming up. PNC Financials. Still looks like it's sort of sideways, but it moved up nicely this week. We want to see if it does something going into next week. And when we know that's a bank. Ulta Beauty. Another three star. They were at $382.99 in our previous video. And they're now at 387.03. And they moved up a little this week. We want to see what they're going to do moving into next week. Now, this is a quality company. I've added some of them to my portfolio. They're not really moving up as much as I would like them to. In order to add them to the portfolio, but the only reason I added them is they're such a quality company and at a low price in terms of the price that they usually hang at that I just wanted to add them to the portfolio. I wanted to jump in early. IDEX Corporation, and it's like, it's sort of sideways for these last two weeks, but this week we see the green candle, we see it moving up. We notice that with the long tail down here, that means the, the sellers pushed it down, but the buyers pushed that price right back up to where it opened in the morning or in the beginning of the week, and above. So it'll be interesting to see what IDEX Corporation does going into the next week. P. Rowe Price Group. 
they're in a sideways pattern, green candle. We want to see if they break above that. T. Rope generally banks. They may have pretty good financials, except for their balance sheets, because banks use money to make money. So they they have no problem collecting debt, because they'll get that money to loan it out and make more money from the interest. T. Rowe Price deals in the financial area, but they have a decent balance sheet. They are a three-star, worth looking into, but we want to see if they're moving up just yet. We want to see if they continue to go on the sideways pattern or if they break above that sideways pattern going into this week. Commercial Meadows Company. They're a one-star. Um... They're moving up for the this week. They moved up for the second week. And we looked at them in the previous video. They were $42.83. Remember, the previous video was around three days ago. And now they're at $45.72. Silgan Holding. We've just seen them move up this one week. But it was a sizable move. We want to see what's happening with them going into next week. Goldman Sachs, the same thing. We've just seen them move up this one week, but it was a sizable move. We want to see what happens with them going into next week. Hill and Brand. And Hill and Brand is a one star, and the same scenario as the previous two companies. They have moved up just this one week, but it was a bit of a sizable move. We want to see what's happening with them or what they do going into next week. Okay, guys, so this, um, what's going to be happening or what's happening during the week with fundamentally sound companies that are moving up from their 52-week low, I will be putting these videos out weekly. will be the same thumbnail or picture that you're going to see. Maybe a similar name. You want to look in the description and see if the video that you're looking at is covering the most recent week. But I will be putting these out weekly so that you're aware of what's going on in the markets, of what stocks are moving up. And if you need the analysis on them, please just leave a comment and I will put the analysis in there.